if you knew my grandmother, then you knew she's not like your typical church eating little lady. Hi, I'm Leafy Child. This is my channel. If you have not seen any videos yet, um, I mean, you can watch this one first, but I have some more down in the description. Um, like, actually, you don't have to like it because I haven't even done anything yet. Um, but I'm going to be telling three stories about my grandmother. So, <laughs> here are three stories that you might like to share with your friends. I was laying down on the couch, um, so how my house was, I would be, there's a couch here, another couch, the couches were kind of in a U shape, and then there was like a little space where you could walk in and out from the, like the living room to like this little dining table and then the kitchen. And so I was laying down and my grandmother was standing up and like cleaning off the counter and I don't know what she what was going through her mind because she was just kind of cleaning off the counter she walked out I don't know what she was doing she walked back in and all I remember next is just hearing her scream right and so I'm like what is going on what's happening um, then she darts out of the living room She's, she was like 64, 65-ish. If you see a 64, 65-year-old lady scream and then run, you have to run. You're legally obligated to run too. So that I did my legal duties and I got up and I darted out of the room too. We're in the kitchen. We didn't go very far, right? Um, we're a good 10 steps away. My grandmother thought that there was, that we had a toy lizard just sitting on the counter and so she tried to pick it up and it squirmed and she screamed and threw it. It kept coming back like we had no idea. We had a fireplace right so and it wasn't covered that well and it was kind of like broken and stuff so things like got in sometimes. Um, we named him Oscar. He just kind of lived in the house with us because we couldn't kick him out. Every time we did he came back. Me and my little sister, we bought that Bean Boozle like when it first came out from this Toys R Us down the street and um, we were like laughing and like gagging, as you do when you put yourself through something as terrible as being boozled. Um, and I remember distinctively me talking to my little sister and I was just like, I don't like black licorice, so why would I put myself through skunk? Actually, let me explain what being boozled is because my mom didn't know until like a few days ago, like earlier. And so, um, being boozled is like this little game where there's a bunch of like jelly beans and they're all like different colors and stuff and you could pick up two identical beans and one might be like chocolate and the other one's dog food so and they're all mixed up so you don't know what's what so you kind of just Russian rouletteing jelly beans um someone's coming okay so my grandmother walks in, I would distinctively remember her walking around the corner and just coming and picking up the black jelly beans, just picking up a few black jelly beans from the thing and tossing them into her mouth. And me and my little sister are like horrified right now. We're like... Cause like, what do we... She did it so quickly, like... You know how like toddlers, like they do something and you're like, oh my gosh, I couldn't stop them. Like they, it was so quick. Like we were just too engulfed in this conversation. And when we noticed, we were like, please don't do it and this and that. But she doesn't listen to us. And so she just popped them into her mouth and her face immediately like changes. Like she goes. And then she like spits them out, like onto her hand and just kind of puts them next to like the bean boozle tray. And she's like gagging and she's like, why are y'all trying to kill me? My grandmother liked to talk nonsense sometimes, right? And she like used to like bother me for no reason. Like one time she asked me to go upstairs to just like get something, like get some, I think it was like a pillow, even though we were downstairs and my pants had pillows in their room and it was just like unnecessary. So I went and got her a pillow and then she wouldn't use it. Like she just tossed it to the side and I was like, 
what was the point of making me run up and down the stairs, you know? And so she just made me do like pointless things sometimes. And um, I remember that day she kept doing that and she kept telling me things to do and so I was kind of upset, right? Because I was irritated and I just wanted to sit down and listen to like some MCR or something. And um, so I ignored her and I went and sat down. And I put in my earphones, I distinctively remember, <laughs> I'm not going to say what song it is, but um, I remember listening to music and um, I turned it up, I turned it up pretty loud and I look up. And my jaw just kind of drops, and I just remember, I this, I remember, I was like, like, I was laughing so hard. And um, my grandmother, she's just walking, she's like, and you think, that's not, that's not odd, like, why is, why do you find it so odd that your grandmother was walking like this and with something? Well, she had a pizza box in her hand. Just walking to the sink casually, she glances over at me and keeps going because she was elegant and she places it down. The thing is about that pizza box though is that it was on fire. <laughs> it was flames, like bright orange red flames hitting the ceiling almost and it was a pretty high ceiling. She said, don't tell your parents. And then my parents did end up finding out but comment if you want to know how and what happened after the flaming pizza box um, but thank you for watching um, go ahead and hit that like subscribe button um, a part two will be coming out soon mm, like and share this video tell people about my grandmother and tell me your favorite family story and maybe I'll like I'll read them. <laughs>